Throughout the day, communities have been left cleaning up after two tornadoes touched down during the severe weather we saw last night. They were both rated an EF2 by the National Weather Service. One ripped through Drew County near Monticello and the other in Jefferson and Arkansas counties near Duet. It caused some pretty serious damage just south of there last night. Our Katrin Asaf was there on the ground and joins us now in studio. Katrin, walk us through what you saw when you were out there today. Yeah, Hunter, well, we certainly saw some damage in that area. We saw debris thrown through fields, downed power lines, and some metal buildings that took quite a beating. Luckily, we didn't see any homes that were damaged, but crews still have a lot to deal with. DeWitt on a Sunday is quiet. But just about 24 hours ago, it was a very different story. Panic. Justin Midkiff was working Saturday night when an EF2 tornado passed a few miles south. He didn't see the funnel for himself, but felt the effects of the storm. The building went out of power. We had to uh, shut and lock the doors because the wind was picking up. As families rushed inside the gas station for shelter, Midkiff says he and others hid in a back hallway, praying the storm didn't turn their way. The building is mainly made of glass. We didn't really have that, that much security. Just down the road, this rice mill wasn't so lucky. The metal was ripped off of grain bins down around the wit. Entergy crews spent most of the day cleaning up sheet metal and downed power lines. Wooden poles cracked in half from the wind. We had somewhere around 30 plus poles broken. If you want an example of just how powerful an EF2 tornado is, take a look at this. This silo was carried to this location all the way from back there. As crews begin to clean up after the powerful storm, daylight is there and we can safely assess the damage. Neighbors in DeWitt are breathing a sigh of relief after a very close call. Doors were trying to pull off the hinges. It's, it's not a joke. Luckily, no one was injured in this tornado. Entergy says damage and outages in the region should be resolved by tomorrow night. Reporting in studio, I'm Katrin Asaf. Hunter.